court's going to call 2018-219 uh, State of Arkansas versus David Tiscus. Mr. Tiscus, have you made any arrangements to have an attorney representing you? Uh, I have not yet retained counsel. Uh, I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. Um, I have I have a uh, uh, I'm going to call you re call your case uh, later this morning uh, when we get to it. But I was just going to say uh, I'm going to ask you to return to the jail. They need they need to they didn't finish the processing on you uh, every step of the processing. Uh, this you're not going to be held. Okay. But this is 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 so you can get that done and then be back here uh, in a uh, you know for to be called in court. Oh, what time would you like me back, Your Honor? Uh, it's, it, should, it shouldn't take very long, so I, I would say by uh, by 1020. Okay. Okay. All uh, right, go to the jail, take care of that. Just and go to the jail. Be and, back here. And they should be expecting you, right, David? All okay, right. I'll take care of it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 2016-224, State of Arkansas versus Joey Seymour. You know, I believe that Mr. Seymour is appearing today. Um, uh, he had previously entered a plea of guilty to this court, and we had withheld sentencing. And um, um, that's what I was trying to. File reflects that on August 17th of 2017, the defendant entered a plea of guilty uh, and was convicted. His sentencing was postponed until September 14th. Uh, on that date, the defendant did not appear and an alias warrant was issued. That alias warrant was served on the defendant on May 9th of 2018. And that's, that's where we stand on this case. Have you had a chance to visit with him? Your Honor, since no, since he was brought back into jail, I'm not really sure what date he was brought back in, but no, I have not visited with him. You know, there was a pre-sentencing report prepared. Yeah. We have that in the file. Well, it was, was there never a, a failure to appear charge? Formal charge filed in this matter. Not that I see. I I think that it's the court's opinion that should be that should be considered by the state. Uh, we still have sentencing to do, but I don't know whether the state is recommending the same sentence th that was conditioned in the agreement, seeing as he has been on the lam for the better part of a year. Judge, there actually wasn't an agreement. Uh, well, there's a plea. there's a plea statement. There's a plea, there's, the there's a plea statement oh, there that is. has a sentence all written out in it. Oh, really? A proposed sentence all written out. And I don't know whether we postponed uh, we postponed the sentencing uh, for. I can't remember now why we postponed the sentencing uh, for for roughly a month, uh, but uh, and, and whether that plea agreement was was the proposed sentence or not. Certainly, I, it, it would seem uh, him being a fugitive for nine months or more that, that uh, uh, I wouldn't expect the state to stay with that particular right. offer. But. Judge, my, what I have is I have a plea, an entry of a plea to one charge, a dismissal of two charges right. on August 17th. Right. On September the 11th, I have the preparation of a pre-sentence report that rec it was a Class D felony is what he was pleading to. They recommended six years in the DOC, and that's when this gentleman, I guess, took flight. Well, um, I'll be uh, yes. I'll I'll prepare uh, a failure to appear, and we'll see what we do about I suppose stacking that information, stacking it. Well, he's already entered a plea of guilty, and the court has accepted that plea. At this point, uh, but you know we can have a hearing on sentencing. Uh, I'll set that down for. Uh, uh, I'm going to set that that hearing on sentencing down for uh, May 31st. And the, the issues at that at that hearing uh, had better be. Uh, it, what is the is the uh, 
the, 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 the sentencing report, pre-sentencing report was prepared obviously because the court was going to have consideration of that. But the, the uh, I'm, as I say, on the form that I took that plea on is a, is a plea statement. And there's at least, uh, there's not a, there's not a term of years written out, but there is the, the financial parts of a, of a plea are written in there. I don't know what, if any of that still has any applicability, but uh, in any case, the, the court, the court is setting it for hearing on May 31st. We'll, uh, we'll consider arguments on, on sentencing on the pleas already entered, and if there's a new uh, charge, we'll, do, we'll start dealing with that as well. All right. M Mr. Seymour, you may be excused. Thank you. Two thousand eighteen dash two eighteen, State of Arkansas versus Jesse Moore. This matter is for arraignment on charges uh, of possession with the purpose to deliver methamphetamine or cocaine, a Class C felony. Possession with purpose to deliver, Schedule methamphetamine or cocaine, uh, larger quantity, Class B felony. Possession with purpose to deliver a controlled substance, Schedule 4 or 5, Class D felony. Possession with purpose to deliver, second count, uh, Class D felony. Possession of drug paraphernalia, methamphetamine or cocaine, Class D felony. Possession of drug paraphernalia, another count of D Class D felony. Possession of drug paraphernalia, third count of Class D felony and all it's alleged uh, is done in the proximity of a, a church school or other uh, facility causing enhancement uh, of, of the penalties. So those are the charges. Uh, Mr. Uh, Moore, have you made any arrangements to be represented by an attorney? Um, it's Ms. Moore. And, I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize. No. no, I haven't. I haven't talked to anyone since I've been here. Okay. Well, Ms. Moore, you um, have an absolute constitutional right to an attorney. Uh, what that means is that you, it's up to you to go out and hire the attorney of your choice uh, and make arrangements for your attorney. If, mm -hmm. if you're hiring a private attorney, the court doesn't even get involved in that. That's between you and the attorney and the private arrangement you want to make for hiring an attorney. However, if you cannot afford to hire an attorney, then uh, you, it's still up to you to make arrangements to get an attorney appointed for you. You do that by making application to the public defender's office. It's your constitutional right to have an attorney. You have to fill out the form, turn that in, and then that'll get to the public defender's office, and they'll make sure a judge signs off on uh, appointing a public defender uh, to represent you. And that's how you secure appointed counsel. Do you understand this right to an attorney? Yes. All right. Uh, I've read off the charges uh, that, that were filed against you on those charges. How do you now plead? Not guilty. I'm noting your plea of not guilty here on the record. Uh, this case... Is there any way I can get my bond lowered? Well, we've got... Well, I've got some other matters to do. Uh, I'll, I'll discuss that with you here in a minute, but first thing first, we're going to set this matter by scheduling order for trial. Um, court is setting the um, setting this trial, Ms. Moore's trial. I'm setting your trial during the week of uh, September 17th. Uh, September 13th will be a plea deadline for accepting or rejecting any plea. I'm going to set the, um, I'll set it for uh, pre-trial hearings on August 2nd, and then I'm going to uh, set you down to reappear uh, in front of this court uh, to check on the status of the case on, uh, on June 21st. 
all of those all of those dates will be put into a scheduling order uh, that'll set your case. Uh, as I said earlier, it's it's up to you to make arrangements to get uh, uh, your attorney in place, uh, fill out that form, and, and and do it as quickly as possible, uh, so your attorney can uh, can be appointed and start uh, working on your case. If you're going to hire private counsel. Again, it's up to you to get that attorney hired and working on your case. What says the state on the uh, on the issue of bond? Bond is set at fifteen thousand dollars. Your Honor, the state believes that's a fair uh, bond, Your Honor, given that Miss Moore is thirty-six years old. She has three prior felony convictions. She is classified as a habitual offender. She committed the last seven offenses while she was on parole. What what uh, what basis, Miss Moore? Because uh, you don't have an attorney, at what basis would you uh, ask me to consider lowering your bond? Sir, I lost my job over this. I lost my house over this just because the they came looking for somebody else at my house. So I really don't have uh, many means to money coming forth right now. Well, given all given all the the circumstances that have been articulated at this point uh, the court uh, court finds that uh, in light of the charges and the circumstances the court finds that you are uh, a substantial flight risk and that uh, that uh, $15,000 is a reasonable bond so I'm going to leave it at $15,000 uh, okay. it once you have an attorney in place uh, and that attorney uh, may be able to put together an argument that will would con con convince me to consider lowering the bond, but at this point I'm not going to do it. All right? Okay. You may yeah. be excused. Thank you. Two thousand eighteen dash two nineteen, State of Arkansas versus David Tiscus. <laughs> Sir, were you able to get to the jail? And yeah, I, I got there and I got back. They, they sent me over with this. I, I don't know if you need this for your records or no. But uh, uh, I recognize what it is, and so that that reflects the completion of the process that they were wanting to get complete. Uh, so, okay, very good. Thank you for doing that. All right, so you're here today. For a first appearance on a uh, charge of criminal mischief in the first degree and aggravated assault. The first one is an A misdemeanor, the second is a D felony, and then a second count of aggravated assault, a D felony. Um, yes, yeah, sir. I I'm an upstanding member of Baxter County, volunteer fireman for four years. I'd like to ask the prosecuting attorney to revisit the facts of this case and maybe consider the harsh uh, harsh penalty they've imposed that after revisiting. Well, I, I hope no penalty has been imposed at this point. It's, it's simply a, a charge at this point, and you're here for arraignment on, on those charges. Um, have you made any arrangements to get an attorney? Uh, I'm going to have to check with the public defender's office for the application, if possible. Okay. Go ahead and fill that out. At, at this time, I'd like to enter a plea of not guilty, and I, I will right. get with the public defender's office on the case. I will enter that, that plea at this time. Your case is assigned to the, uh, by a random selection pro process to the uh, docket of Judge Putman. I'm setting it for reappearance next week, a week from today, in front of Judge Putman for the purpose, that's May 24th, uh, for the purpose of getting on his scheduling order. Uh, I'm entering the plea of not guilty that you've done, recommending you fill out and, and apply to the public defender's office, and then you'll order to be back on May 24th in front of Judge Putman. Oh, what time on the 24th, sir? When does he start court? Okay. Uh, Probably, well, you need to be there with your attorney on uh, at least by 10. 10 a.m., yes, sir. All right. You may be excused. Thank you.
2017-324, State of Arkansas versus Larry Bell. Mr. Bell, you're appearing at this time for purposes of changing your plea on, on the charges involved in this case. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Speak up. Yes, sir. I, I can tell what you're saying, but you need to speak up so the court reporter over here can hear your answers. Okay? Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, the charges, uh, the, the agreement, as I say, is, is uh, there's been an agreement reached to change the, to amend the charges in some ways, and uh, you're, you're, pursuing, you're entering your change of plea pursuant to that agreement. Is that yes, what's sir. happening? Have you discussed the terms of the agreement and the punishment you're to receive with your attorney, Mr. Cooper? Yes, sir. And do you feel you understand what the agreement is? Yes, sir. Are you satisfied with the advice and the representation you've had from Mr. Cooper? Yes, sir. On the charges of uh, possession of a controlled substance, methamphetamine, a Class D felony, possession of a controlled substance, uh, uh, not methamphetamine or cocaine, but listed on Schedule One or Two, a separate Class D felony, tampering with physical evidence, uh, two counts, uh, both Class D felony, and uh, possession of drug paraphernalia, Class A misdemeanor, two counts, possession of a controlled substance, uh, Schedule 4 or 5, Class A misdemeanor, possession of a controlled substance, Schedule 6, Class A misdemeanor, uh, careless and prohibited driving, driving while intoxicated, had, had, uh, refusal to submit to chemical test, and no liability insurance. On those charges, how, how do you now plead? Guilty. Okay. There are three other charges that are being uh, null pros uh, in accordance uh, with the, uh, the agreement. You're aiming this plea of guilty pursuant uh, to a, the agreement we've been discussing. The agreement is set out in writing in this uh, document I'm holding up called a plea statement. Have you read through this plea statement? Yes, sir. And you signed it? Yes, sir. In reading over it, do you feel you understood what's set out in the plea statement? Yes, sir. You then understand the nature of the charges against you and the full range of penalties you're facing? Yes, sir. You understand that uh, by pleading guilty, you're giving up certain constitutional rights you have? Yes, sir. The most important of the rights you're giving up is your right to a jury trial. When you plead guilty, you give up your right to a jury trial. Yes, you sir. also give up with that a right to be represented and assisted by an attorney throughout the trial process. You're giving up the right to confront witnesses that would appear and testify against you at trial, and you're giving up the right to appeal. Do you understand these rights that you're giving up? Yes, sir. And understanding what rights you're giving up, are you still willing to enter this plea of guilty? Yes, sir. Are you pleading guilty here today freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. Has anybody in any form or fashion forced you into this plea? No, sir. As you plead guilty here today, are you admitting to your participation in the uh, in in actions uh, that constitute the basis of these crimes? Yes, sir. Are you admitting that um, on or about August 9th of 2017, here in Baxter County, uh, in the Midway area, uh, a trooper stopped you, uh, and um, that. Uh, are you admitting that when the trooper stopped you, uh, and maybe and and before he stopped you, apparently you you uh, threw some things out out the window of the vehicle, uh, and so that you're admitting that uh, you had uh, possession, exercised possession of uh, methamphetamine, a class D felony, that you had in your possession some pills. Do we know? He had Xanax in his possession, marijuana, methamphetamine, and a marijuana pipe, Your Honor. I know about those. What would be the, the Schedule One or Two drugs? He also had morphine, Your Honor. Morphine, okay. Uh, are you admitting that you had uh, uh, morphine uh, in your possession as well? Yes, sir. And that you uh, took steps to uh, get rid of the, uh, the, the evidence against you uh, by by throwing it out. Yes, sir. All right. 
that you also had in your or found to have in your possession quantity of um, additional quantity of uh, 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 small quantity of methamphetamine or drug paraphernalia related to methamphetamine, possession of controlled substance, uh, Xanax. Uh, you had possession of a quantity of marijuana. Uh, and that uh, you were operating your motor vehicle uh, in a in kind of a careless uh, manner. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Um, at the time of your uh, stop driving, uh, you, you had in your system uh, uh, drugs. Is that correct? You were driving under the influence? Sorry. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. No, I mean, that's right. And you refused to submit to a chemical test. And finally, you were operating the motor vehicle with no liability insurance. Is that also true? Yes, sir. All right. Based on those statements, the court's going to find going to find the defendant has freely and voluntarily entered his plea of guilty. Done so after uh, discussing the case with his attorney. Uh, and has admitted to actions, uh, all of which constitute the basis for the various crimes uh, he is pleading to. On that basis, the court formally accepts the defendant's plea of guilty and finds the defendant guilty of possession of a controlled substance, methamphetamine, a Class D felony, possession of a controlled substance, uh, morphine, uh, a Class uh, uh, D felony, uh, tampering with physical evidence, two counts, uh, class both class D felony possession of drug paraphernalia uh, class a misdemeanor uh, possession of controlled substance uh, Xanax a class a misdemeanor possession of controlled substance uh, marijuana class a misdemeanor uh, careless and prohibited driving uh, driving while intoxicated uh, on drugs uh, refusal to submit to chemical test and no liability insurance. On all those charges, uh, having found the defendant uh, uh, guilty, the court will uh, enter, uh, accepts the defendant's plea and finds the defendant uh, guilty of all of those charges. Court will postpone uh, with whole formal sentencing until uh, May 31st. Uh, when the defendant is ordered to reappear for formal sentencing. That'll be the order of the court. Your Honor, in the interim, and I know that the order reflects that, Mr. Bell needs to make sure he sees the alcohol safety officer so we can address that issue also, Your Honor. Yes. On the DWI. That's, I was going to direct that. Sorry. The defendant is to meet with the uh, alcohol safety worker and complete uh, uh, and complete a uh, or sign up for a rehabilitation program. Get that established. All Thank right. You, All right. That'll be the order of the court. You may be excused. You're to return to court on May 31st. All right. Yes, sir. You may be excused.